So this video, I want to create a subassembly from a polyline. Here I have a polyline and an assembly. So to create the subassembly from polyline, I go to the design panel and choose create subassembly from polyline and then select the polyline. I'm going to give it a name of odd shape. Um, you can set the code set style. And what I want to do is make sure that every single point is labeled or and link is. So I'm just going to create a new one and I'm going to call it show codes. And then here I can add a label style as the default one. Of simply codes. So now every link that I add will hopefully get labeled. And I'll do the same thing for the points. And I'm just going to rotate that 90. Oops and do middle left. And why not do it for the shapes? So now I have a subassembly. Um, you can go in and you can modify the origin. So if you want to put it somewhere else, you can. Um, I could even then add some information to it. So I'm going to add some codes to it. It's going to ask me to enter in the code. And you can put in whatever name that you want it to be. And then it's going to ask me to select a point, link, or shape. So I'll go ahead and try to select that point. And so then the label shows up. So I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to do top. And so as I place them, I can easily see what's been added and what hasn't been. And I'll do the same thing for datum. And then one, two more it looks like. And so that's going to be all of my link codes, and I could add more point codes if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to do one more for the shape code. And then I'll add the code to it. And there I can see that concrete's been added to it. So now I'm going to add it to my assembly. And the point codes went away because of um, the assembly doesn't have the codes. So then I can rebuild my corridor.
I can add some surfaces. Hit OK. And then if I go into Object Viewer, I can see that it created both the top and the datum surfaces, and it looks pretty good. And so that's how I can create a custom subassembly from a polyline, um, add some codes to it. I'm setting up my code set style to make sure that everything's labeled correctly. And then that looks pretty good.